How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Minecraft. Today we're doing a mod review. I know something different, but that's because the mod I found it brought my inner child out. So I decided I want to review it. So it's uh, the Ben 10 Omnitrix mod, and it actually works quite well. But we we might need like a bunch bunch of these just in case. But anyway, first thing we have the proto omitrix. It's crafted using this re recipe. Now, whilst this is a good omitrix, I hate using it, and you'll see why. There's a reason why there's a bunch in here. Now, basically, what you want to do is you want to right click and equip it, and now it's actually on your wrist. So once it's activated, it will make a noise. And then you can press it down to select your aliens. Now you shift and scroll to go between each alien. Now this watch is not 100%. So if I select a uh, heat blast right now, there's a chance I won't get any. This is a bad example. But since I'm him right now... If we make our way over to this little area here I've got set up, I can spawn in a couple zombies. And basically, I just want to hit them and they go down in two hits. Now, from what I can gather, this mod is still a work in progress, so not every feature will be in the mod yet. But basically, now you just go wait till the Omnitrix times out, and then you go wait for it to time back in, which we're not going to do. So that's why I grab some injectors. So now I'm back to normal, and just because I want to show one more alien from this Omnitrix, we'll go ahead and grab another one. So same thing again. We activate it, and now let's go upgrade. Well, I'm not really helping my case right now, am I? Now, upgrade, I haven't actually tested out, so I don't know what he does. But, since this wasn't a good example of what I was saying before, let's just go get one more Omnitrix. And that can go in there. So, I activate the Omnitrix. And let's go Forearms. Okay, I swear before I started recording this, none of this was working. But, I haven't tested out for arms, and all I know is he is strong, so let's spawn in a zombie, and yeah, he goes down in one hit. So, for arms is a good example. Now, I'm trying this one more time. Because there's no way it's going to give me the same alien a third time. I mean, that'd just be stupid. So, once again, we do this. And let's become Diamond Head. There. See, it didn't work. I selected Diamond Head and I became Upgrade. See, I wasn't lying. But, basically, we're going to move on from this. Now, the, there's no crafting recipe for the next Omnitrix. It's the recalibrated Omnitrix from Alien Force. So, once it's equipped, it's going to go on my wrist. Now, this one I actually do like better than normal, normal Omnitrix. So, once it's activated, it has a couple different things. This one here lets uh, the Omnitrix time out and time back in. But we want it timed in for what we're doing. And basically, we can select whatever alien we want. So let's go Humongosaur. And we're going to grow quite, quite, quite big. And we can grow even... Oh, that's tiny. I didn't mean tiny. We can go tiny. But then we can go Humongous. And normal 
size. So, yeah. And we can time it back out and go back to normal, which is just normal size. But then we can activate it again and select Big Chill. We can select Big Chill. Now, Big Chill has ice powers, so he can fly for one. And he can also freeze stuff. But then he can also walk through walls. As simple as that. And one cool thing about this Omnitrix is the fact that you can actually go from one alien to another one. So you just do this. And let's select go. See, I didn't even have to go back to human form to do that. But, Goop, we can get really tiny. Really teeny tiny. Like, we're the size of a brick. And now, I'm expect expecting Goop to have not much strength. So, once we, uh... Oh, I should probably regrow. But once we put one in, yeah, it doesn't do much damage. I should probably also show you what Big Chill does. He can just freeze the enemies. But uh, Goop can also fly. But when you fly, you do you become this. But apparently. So yeah, but this is the first time I've actually appeared whilst flying, so yeah, and then there's a thing which I'm guessing to be health, but I don't actually know, but yeah, I want to show you what Big Chill can do, so let me find him real quick, there I go, and basically we can freeze. We can freeze the enemies. And Big Chill can kill them in one punch. But uh, yeah. Now, now in here, there's actual things that tell you what does what. So yeah, and to my knowledge, there's no way to take it off normally because it doesn't appear in here or in here or here. So, we just take this injector and do this. And so the Omni tricks can go in there. But now we move on to the Ultra Matrix. Ult Matrix. And to make that, we need one recalibrated Omni Trix, which I don't know how to get currently. Because there is not a single recipe for it. Because if I go here, there's not a recipe. It's just recalibrated Omnitrix in the manual. It doesn't physically tell me. But anyway, once we get all of these together, but yeah, that, again, that's the crafting recipe, we can then get the Alter Matrix, which is pretty much the same as the recalibrated Omnitrix, but with ultimate aliens. So once it's equipped, we can activate it. Now this one has a couple different modes. It has powered off, uh, timed out, self-destruct in the normal mode, but we'll look at those later. But we can f go in and activ activate the aliens. Now to start with, you're gonna see a lot of normal ones, but then there's some of the classic ones, like way big. Is ex bit quite big that I can jump out of my little testing area. But the thing about this Omnitrix is the fact that we can go ultimate, which is quite big. 
So now we're ultimate way big. We can jump extremely high. We have uh, lasers that we can shoot. A ground pound thing, which I've never got to work. We can fly as ultimate way big. I think we could fly as normal way big as well. I didn't quite see that. But from here, we can unultimify ourselves. And no. I thought I was going to die. But yeah, normal way big can't, can't fly. But because his way big is lagging my game, we're going to go from way big to a different alien. And we're going to shrink while doing it because, yeah. But we can go Chroma Stone. Uh, Chroma Stone has his basic abilities, shooting lasers and flying. Uh, this is what he looks like. Now, I don't know what the sun looking one is. I'm guessing that's his energy absorbing power, but I don't know how to activate it. But yeah, we've also got a classic alien in here somewhere. Uh, we've got Cannonball, a little round boy. So we can go into our bowl, which is quite round quite a round ball which also allows us to go fast so I can go faster than that we can go quite fast but once we get out of it we've just got normal cannon bolt again but then we can go ultimate which is the same thing but spiky blue and he can go Quite a lot faster. And now I'm on fire. But yeah, he can go super speed. But. Yeah. And what I've noticed is. The Ultimatrix can't actually go between aliens. You have to actually come back to normal form to switch between the aliens, which is a little annoying, but we can do it. Uh, we go Alien X here. Well, my next transform will time me out by the looks of it, but uh, we can't exactly do control. We need discussion so once we do that like a bunch we may end up being able to use alien x so let's just it's gonna take a while for us to be able to use alien x pretty much but yeah maybe if you're so devoted to being Alien X that you could possibly actually do it but yeah we're not even getting answered now but yeah so let's try this one more time yeah and then we're sort of locked in Alien X right now for some reason oh Okay, yeah, so that'd be why if we're in first person, we actually see the two uh, in Alien X. I forget their name, so don't quiz me on it. But yeah, this is what we um we speak about. It could should probably eat some food. But yeah, oh, they shall consider it. That's good. Green is good. Red is bad. But, yeah. Uh, no, they don't. But, yeah, let me make my way over to the chest to get one of these. Now, it's the same matter with this. You can't remove the Omnitrix, Ultimatrix, without using one of these. 
so it's really annoying. So let's just take Alien X out and throw him in there and move on. Wait, I'm just gonna do it again. Move on to the official Omnitrix. Now it's crafted with the recalibrated Omnitrix again. But at this point, it should be destroyed. But apparently, it's still there. But anyway, it's crafted like that, and it's the Omnitrix from On Omni Omniverse. Omniverse. But it looks looks like this, and you can activate it. And there's a couple different options by the look of it. So let's go to number one. But as you can see, it actually has the little ring where you can select aliens. And because it's annoying, we shall select Accelerate. So yeah, this is pretty much the Accelerate from Omniverse. And you, you can go fast, and it has a little, little echo of where you last were with it. So you can go ex quite fast actually, but that's pushing it a little. But now, once we go back, we can select a different one. So let's go Diamond Head. Uh, Diamond Head, pretty much the same as he was in the show. But I can't get his powers to work, so we're not going to bother with him. And let's see, who else have we got? I'm guessing Upgrade? Yeah, we've got Upgrade. Now, it's almost the same as the first upgrade, but now we can shoot a laser. Oh. Okay, that's not good. Let me throw that back in there. This yeah, so you want to be careful with upgrade, because that can happen. Now, upgrade, I'm guessing, isn't, isn't very strong. So let's see. Uh, normal punches aren't strong, but you can laser them, which is brilliant. So, yeah. And then if we look in another one, we have, uh, looks like ultimate alien aliens. So we've got water hazards, which, yeah, you can make it rain. Well, rain around him at least. But yeah, each of the Omnitrix goes through a different variation of Ben. Like, here we have Chromastone, which is the exact same as before. But they're not the ones you want to see. You want to see the Omniverse aliens. So if we go into them. This is not the Omniverse Aliens. These are locked samples of normal Minecraft Aliens. Hey. So we want to go into here. This is where we have them. So here we have... If... Oh, I think I crashed. Right, so because now I've crashed, I'm having to improvise the ending here. Uh, basically, we want to look at the blue thing here. Randomizer function activated. Which seems to be an anal randomizer function. So now I'm stink fly. Also, doing that actually scared me, but it seems to be that Omniverse aliens currently aren't properly working. But, uh... Alien Force Aliens are still working, so that's cool. And, yeah. Ow. And Series 1 Aliens are still working, so that is also very cool. So, yeah. That, there's not that much left to say about this other than I really like the mod and I'm hoping that crashing issues get sorted out 
and also before I forget there is also some armor that comes with it so we've got this jacket this shirt and this shirt all from different Ben 10 things so we got the kid shirt we got the omniverse shirt and the best one the alien force jacket i just like it more than the other two give me a break but yeah it's very cool and there's also these functions with the omnitrix which is the same as the other stuff But yeah, there's not much left to say other than thanks for watching this episode, guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to see more mod reviews, because I actually want to test this out a bit, see if you guys like it, uh, just, yeah, give it a like. And yeah, just thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.